fluff this man, are there any original shows left? You thought there was only one gumball ripoff, Miracle Star? No, there's actually another cartoon that completely tried to copy Gumball. The Amazing World of Gumball is an original show that had a ton of funny, cool references sprinkled throughout. The cartoon evolved in the most natural and authentic way possible. Even the voice actors on the show grew with it. Today's cartoon in question is Pinky Malinky. Where was this marvelous copy created? It was created in America. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Pinky Malinky. Yikes. Not only is this style extremely similar to Gumball, but the camera shake as well. Cheese and rice, man. I'm feeling nauseous looking at this cartoon. Whose brilliant idea was it to fluffing shake the camera constantly through the entire fluffing episode? It's like the animators wanted us to puke while watching this. Now, before you start racing to the comment section telling me how Gumball also has shaky camera movements, yeah, that's exactly my point. But also, the shake that we see in Gumball doesn't appear as often and is extremely subtle. Pinky Malinky shakes way too much. Like, this is so distracting, man. What the heck is wrong with these cartoons, man? I swear to fraud. Every one of these cartoon ripoffs have one thing in common. One thing that makes the entire cartoon impossible to watch. In my last video, we saw that a ripoff of SpongeBob, Coconut Fred, was uploaded in 240p resolution. Veli, the Gravity Falls ripoff, wasn't even animated properly. And of course, Miracle Star had ridiculous animation errors I've never seen before that broke the entire episode. Let's analyze why this show, Pinky Malinky, is possibly a copy. We already discussed how this show is almost identical in terms of animation styles, correct? But I will give them the benefit of the doubt. Please do it. But this is your chance to prove to everyone that you're not a we- What the fluff? What the fluff? Do you expect me to believe that they didn't just use the same idea from Gumball? In one of the episodes, Pinky wanted to watch some questionable things on his computer. Can someone tell me why anyone finds this stuff funny? And this isn't even taking out of context. This was a random clip shoved at the end of the episode. What is this, fluffing Sesame Street? I wanna laugh, give me real jokes. Is there even a plot to these episodes? Stop the fluffing jokes that make everyone and their uncle cringe. Pinky isn't even as funny as Gumball and Darwin. No, Pinky Malinky is a complete fluffing artard. To be honest, this show is very well animated. It's animated by some of the people who actually worked on Gumball. However, this is a problem. Number one, I love cheap animations in ripoffs. Yeah, they give me guilty pleasure, and at least they're somewhat self-aware that it's already garbage, so I laugh a lot at it. But Pinky Malinky for the first time on this cheap copy series I have on YouTube is trying really, really hard to be original. I haven't laughed one time from watching this episode. Unlike the other ripoffs in my videos, I at least enjoyed the sucky animation because I could laugh at it and have some pleasure. Is Pinky Malinky trying to overthrow Gumball's spot? Let's take a look at some of the character designs. Babs Bubman, almost looks like a direct copy of Richard. From you could make a grown man cry, you would be. I like how there's just one dislike on that video. Cause that's totally believable. Don't tell me you see zero resemblance though. Please, just look at this. Hey, Pinky. Please don't tell me these people use Perry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb. Shall we compare the intro of both cartoons? Gumball vs Pinky Malinky. <laughs> It's clearly whoever animated the show loves wieners. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting this to be complete garbage, but it sounded pretty decent. I will give them that, that intro sounded pretty solid. But still, why are they trying so hard? I can't even mock the show because it tries so hard to be good. This cartoon can survive on its own, but there's so many similarities to Gumball. This cartoon is not funny. It received a 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb. A 5.7 out of fluffing 10. A select few individuals left some comments on my previous videos. 
telling me they don't think the cartoons I've shown them have a possibility of being copied, just like Coconut Fred, the ripoff of SpongeBob. They say it's 100% original, even though the voice actor who worked on the show literally said he doesn't like voicing the main character because it was a shameless SpongeBob ripoff. My purpose of these videos is to go over as much factual evidence and similarities as possible so we can come to some kind of conclusion. But even when I provide concrete proof, there's still people out there who say it's not copied because, well, they're different characters. <laughs> well, no freaking crap, man. If they were the exact same character, they wouldn't even exist from the lawsuits, so of course they change it up. These videos I do exist to help explain what's going on with evidence mixed in with satire and a little bit of theory so people can shut the fluff up about it. And finally, one day we can realize that hey, maybe every cartoon isn't all that original. Listen very closely to what I'm about to say. Cartoon ripoff's main purpose is to take the easy way out. It is difficult to come up with a cartoon on your own and have it become successful? Come on. To end this video off, there's something I need to address. Verbal Ace is a massive YouTuber and he just revealed a new video called Black Panther vs Deadpool, the cartoon beatbox battle. And it was amazing. But I noticed that Verbal Ace needed some help sharing the video, so I'm doing my part as an actual fan of his series by including it here. But my question to you is what is a true fan? My last video was shockingly bombarded with dislikes from my honest live reaction to his Mario vs Sonic episode. I've barely just started reacting to animations here on YouTube and I'm already bombarded with hate. It's like people want me to praise the animation and animator for the entirety of the video which is not normal. But even in my last video I wasn't even roasting verbal ace, I was roasting myself too. Making jokes about the episode? Seriously, do people just want me to be like, whoa, this is awesome, he's amazing, the entire video? A real fan would talk throughout the video, give valid points and jokes. Even Verbal Ace himself probably doesn't want to see a reaction of someone just saying, oh, Verbal Ace is amazing, this entire video, he's amazing, this is awesome. Like, come on, that's boring. You gotta comment on the animation, comment on something, do something, reactors. Don't come to me with all that hate. Now, some reaction channels will leave you to believe that they're the biggest Verbal Ace fans, but they only react when a big episode comes out. After that, it's radio fluffing silence. No reactions until the views blow up. I get this is YouTube, but don't come after your boy Kalobi when he's given an honest reaction while roasting my own self in the video. Like, that's not fair, man. To end this video off, Verbal Ace helped me out when I was struggling to grow again by promoting me despite all the drama on his channel, so I want to do my part and help promote him again to get views on his latest battle, because that's what a true fan would do. Whoever stuck this far into this video, do the right thing. Go and watch Verbal Ace's new rap battle. It's expensive to make these cartoon beatbox battles. This generation will no longer be selfish. Fans of Kolobi shall not pick and choose. We are no longer divided, but together. Type down below in the comment section if you think Pinky Malinky is a ripoff of Gumball. Do you guys think it's a copy? I don't know, maybe it is. I'll see you guys later.